Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez attending a town hall last night on veterans health care. She was just one of the speakers arguing against the president's mission act which gives vets more choice in their care, something we've talked a lot about. The congresswoman saying, quote, they're trying to fix the VA for insurance corporations, and ultimately they're trying to fix the VA for a for-profit health care industry that does not put people or veterans first. Pete Hegseth joins us now to react to this. Pete, you served our country, and you tried to get in this town hall, right? I this tried. Listen, when we saw this town hall was happening right in our own backyard, we applied for media credentials and access to go to the event. Now, the organizers, this is what they had to say. I, I think we've got the email. They said, unfortunately, we are at capacity and unable to credential any more media for this event. Thanks for your request. Is that true? They also denied access to Fox News in general. They denied all access. Now, we've got some photos from, uh, I, I like to call her Comrade Cortez. Her <laughs> Instagram story, this is a picture of the auditorium. So it appears that oh, there were there, 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 so there was space. Situation. There may have been some empty seats. You could but, land a chopper there. You could. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was uh, super popular. What happened? We were not. And, you know, listen, I, I haven't polled every member of the media, but most members of the media are not veterans themselves who are quite passionate about this topic which right, is so why I wanted to go to it would have been great to get an insight on it maybe ask her a question but it was a t very typical uh, left-wing event and that was her video that was her video right. look at the audience here not a lot of people and, so Pete let's talk about the major issue and that's the choice yes we think that's a major breakthrough to give people choice if they can't get to a VA or the VA is disappointing them in their area let them go private using the money that's been already allocated she's, to them she doesn't want that she's totally opposed to it she's all in with the unions that say let's double down on VA healthcare. In fact, she went on to say, "I want VA for all, all Americans." Well, which, that's which is Medicare for Sanders, all. Yeah. This is it, it is it's it's Canadian style VA healthcare is what they want for for everybody. And she makes that argument. They point to the number of vacancies, uh, positions at the VA not filled. Well, we've added over 47,000 jobs in the VA since 2004. Wait times have still gone up. More veterans are getting care in the community, and they still can't get good care. So if you add it all up, she doesn't know what she's talking about. I'll say that she doesn't know what she's talking about when it comes to delivering for vets. And you talk to guys who are getting there. I, I talk to guys every day. I just want the best possible mm -hmm. care. If it's the VA, great. If it's a provider, private provider, great. And this administration is committed to that. All the rules aren't written, and it's not perfect yet. But that's what they want to happen. And the left saying, no, same system for everybody, government run health. People, what they don't understand, too, is for profit also means there's an incentive for excellence. Yes. Because if you don't make a profit, you lose money. Competition. And that's what it And, and that the VA has no competition. No competition. So they treat vets as numbers. I was t I've been talking to someone right now. They were at the Mayo Clinic. They needed a, a crucial care. The VA denied it, said, no, go back to your VA clinic, where they're now waiting for another month just to get a Why do a they deny with, it if we have choice? Because the VA decided, based on their matrix, that it costs too much for that specialty care, go back to the government-run system and wait in line. Instead of giving point, that veteran, late. at that point, their, their cancer may have gotten that much mm -hmm. worse. This is what government-run health care looks like when the veteran doesn't get to choose. Important right. issue. Yeah. i got to say, this is one where I joined with the congresswoman in trying to ban you from... I've been trying to keep you off the weekend show for a long time. I know it you It doesn't have. work. It's she never... banned you from a town hall. I don't know how she did it. You are stuck with me. Right. I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend. <laughs> right. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, Thanks guys. Appreciate it. All right.